First one that I'm going to show you is uh, Just Play Playbook um, from Just Play Solutions. Uh, and what I like about them as opposed to Huddle, I know a lot of people use Huddle. Um, and I love Huddle for the film portion, but for the playbook portion, uh, I love Just Play. And here's why. Uh, so what I love about Just Play is, is that you save all of your formations and whatnot um, as, let's go full screen here. You save all of your formations and whatnot as um, as templates. So I, I've already made all these. These don't come pre-made, but they do have a bunch that are pre-made. But once you make these, you can just pull them back up real simple. So I want right formation. I just drag it on. I want one of the defenses that we see most often. I just drag it on. And if it doesn't align right, you know, you align it. If you change a formation, you just highlight and you favorite it. You type in your formation, put it in your folder, and now you have that one forever. Um, if there's something that you use often, let's say that that you use a read player, you know, uh, and you're often drag that on, replace that guy. We're going to read this guy. It's already there. Uh, same thing if you, let's say you had a smash concept, you could make that, that smash concept a favorite, make a folder, pass routes or pass combos, um, put it in here and then just drag it on and your smash concept is, is already there. So it just saves a ton of time. In terms of drawing up plays, you know, it's still super simple um, in terms of, of drawing your normal pass plays. Now, that I don't think the actual drawing up of the plays is, is that much superior to huddle. I think the organization of your playbook and of your um, and of your how you're going to um, get to your stuff is in your saved templates and all of that is what is superior to Huddle. Um, it does installs just like Huddle does. Um, you can bring your film over from Huddle and put that in there. Uh, but if you have any questions or you want to see, I got a 30 minute, 35 minute demo that I did. A couple of days ago online for some people it's on my twitter i'll pin it at the end here uh so you can see it but um but we're on a time crunch so if you want to see the full 30 minutes on that do that or or shoot me a message and we'll uh and we'll go over that um another thing that we do uh that i think is super efficient is we use google docs for uh for our our, our coaches and i'm gonna guess that a lot of people do this um but i'll show you how we do it i make a week for every opponent um, you know, so our contact days, that's a, that's a week, uh, um, first week of practice, second week of practice, and then each week for each opponent. Um, down here I have templates. So, uh, I'll put a depth, a depth chart in there for teams. Um, so I, I know like who's coming back from last year's team and whatnot. I'll show what that looks like. Um, so this is last year's thing, but put a depth chart. This is their defense. They run a 50, kind of a weird, weird defense, a 53, um, whatnot. But so I put guys in there. Or actually, this is their offense. Um, so their their option offense. Um, just put the guys in there. They were red if they weren't coming back, whatnot. But I had templates in there. I'll share. If anybody wanted that stuff, they can have it. But uh, practice script is in there. So if I tell our, you know, our, our offensive guy, hey, you go in or, you know, you're filling in the passing plays for team offense um, or whatnot. He can go do that. So I don't have to do everything. Um, also a spot where we'll put notes in for game planning for, uh, for somebody in terms of, um, in terms of, Hey, what'd you see on film? What do you want to see? So Google, uh, Google classroom or Google uh, um, drive works really well. I also use Google classroom. For my kids, in terms of when I post, uh, I post all of our installs in Google Classroom. I know some people uh, might use Huddle to do that, but I post videos. So I want to show the kids um, the install video for the week. I screen record it, and then I put it in Google Classroom so that they can see me going through all the plays. I feel like this helps to do this prior to an install meeting. So they at least have an idea of what's going to happen in that install meeting. Um, 
So I'll screen record, I'll bounce back and forth between just play and huddle and put the film in. Uh, so if you're a Google school, create a Google classroom for, for your kids. Um, if you, you know, so I know that all of our games are on YouTube. I know that there's probably a lot of, a lot of other people where, you know, your games are on YouTube, your opponent's games are on YouTube. You only get two weeks of, of film or whatnot, um, or maybe it's an off season study and you're going to, uh, you're going to um, try and steal some film, right? Get some, get some pre scouting reports. So what I use to do that, it's called Wondershare Una Converter. I, I know there's free ones out there. I've paid for this one. Uh, I think it's $50. There's an educational discount. And if you got one license, you could give it to everybody on your, on your staff as long as they're on the same platform, either Windows or Mac. Uh, the, the passcode doesn't work for across platforms. You got to be on the same platform. But um, so I know all of our games are on YouTube. All you do is copy the copy the URL. You go in, click download, and paste the URL. It's gonna find that if it finds that game, and then you can update it on me. You can either um, pull it into Huddle and cut up the film. Uh, you can. Um, Put it into iMovie if you're a Mac person. They have another version of the software that would cut it, whatnot. Um, so you can you, you can cut it however you want. Um, maybe you just want to you know be able to watch it, and not have to be on YouTube, whatever it is. Uh, cancel that. So you can cut that up if anybody wants a demo on how to cut that up. I can show you how to. I think I already screen recorded one. Uh, guys at the Richmond wanted me to show them how, so I think you can. I already have a demo of that. Another thing that it does is it allows you to screen record, and I know people probably use some other other ones um, for that, but you can screen record. I'm not going to do this right now because it's not going to work with me on Zoom, I don't think. But, you know, so uh, this this will couple with the one I'm going to show you next. So, you know, if you find a, a play on uh, the next thing I'm going to show you, let's get out of there. So NFL Game Pass, all right? Right now, NFL Game Pass is free. So if you catch plays off of there that you really like, I know like Gum last year, we were we were raving over that that play that the 49ers burned the Packers on on the, the I think it was a corner post, uh, play action corner post with Kittle. And, and but NFL Game Pass is free right now. You get all 22 and end zone film. Uh, normally it's not free, but due to COVID-19, they made it, they opened it up to everybody. Usually, one coach in your staff will get a free membership every year, and you just start, share the login. But so you go there, you find the coach's film, and then you use the screen record from that last feature that I just showed you, and you can rip plays off of here, throw them into Huddle for for coaching tools. Um, the other thing, if if you're a Mac person, uh, there's a hotkey that screen records. You can look that up. I don't know what it is. I got I got it automatically set for myself, but. Here's the other thing that I really like about this is let's say that you wanted to look at all the ways the Chiefs used Tyreek Hill. You can create a playlist of all Tyreek Hill plays that the that the Chiefs use. You know, maybe it's all run plays, maybe it's all ways that they that they got him the ball on run plays. You can search that. Or if you're, you know, Debo Samuel. You want to look at all the ways that they're using these these dynamic kind of gadget players that they have in the league uh, for some ideas on how you can do those guys formation wise. You can do some quick searches here, create a create a playlist, and then watch them that way. They do have some the arrow keys give you some forward, fast forward, and, and rewind tools on there. 